So Suisha, I'm, I'm going over the beginning, which is to kick, to kick, kick, okay? And just staying with the last two kick. So opponent attacks, I block, and I do this. So this is 4-1, okay? Actually, it's 4-1 while retreating, which means I, I took control of his lead. And then there is a kata from another review that we know, that I keep his leg, he takes the leg back, and I create an opening, and I pull him to Ogiaku. Let's do it again with respect to the kata. Respect to the kata means I shut the up while I'm doing the technique. Now let's look at Suisha. Suisha is different. This is the shin nice. I pull him, kick his groin, and then push him. So this is the essence of it. Kick his groin and push. <laughs> okay, so we again we look at uh, Suisha, and when we look at Suisha, we see at least one important uh, chief feature in the kata kick and push. So, this is what I want to do kick and push. And look how difficult it is for me not to throw him down. Kick and <laughs> kick enter. So I have to be very careful. Why? Because kicking and entering like this is a recipe for breaking my own knee when he falls down. And it happened because I have my knee in an internal rotation and he might fall on my knee and this would break the inner facets of the knee and cause traumatic injury and it happens, okay? So I do one, push. Don't do this like in judo, just push him. But here, because it's a partner and I want to do it again and again, kick, push, let him walk. Even, even, don't even walk. You are doing too good. Walk. And then, kick, walk. That's it. Kick, walk. So I have a street thing. Okay, one, two. But I have a sabaki drill. One, two, he walks. One, two. And of course, if I would hit the groin, he would not walk. When, when I uh, train for this kata, okay, don't plant your leg on the floor, here. It's not that it's not possible to do it, but a strange angle of him falling will destroy my own knee. So the way to think about it is first of all this. And remember, we have been preparing this kata for four weeks. We started with this four weeks ago. So this is the first thing. This is the, the Kukishin orientation. Forward, 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 okay? So this one. And, and then I add the leg, okay? So I do this. And I don't plant the leg on the floor. Of course, this uh, strong I can only do with good uke. If he has good ukemi, falling abilities, I can do this. Okay, so this. But with a heavy opponent, this must be done full force. I will not do it now in full force. Okay. And again, what are we aiming to? Getting acquainted with the uchikomi. Getting inside, outside. Inside, outside. 